Okay, we're in the front door here. This is it. Basically, we're looking at a shell. I don't know if you can see this real good, but there's numerous leaks, numerous roof leaks. It's been an ongoing issue here. This little shed right here, this little closet. Okay, see, this has all been built in. And so this space can be reclaimed for floor space. There's this, this is really not, you know, supporting architecturally significant. You can see the old original paneling, it was, it was just added on. We've got a good size roof leak right there, okay? We're shooting this with infrared here in a little bit. Do some moisture meters sometimes, if I can get that high, all right? But um, by all outward appearances, it appears to be dry. Okay, all this conduit's loose. You got open box up there, open junction box there. This is your exit. This is your exit. I'm counting between 20 and 30 parking spots with the possibility of two handies, handy capable spots. Okay, now I shot the floor, measured the floor. Now, when you do that, that it's only relative. All, all we know is this this space. We do not know about the neighbor's space over there. We do not know about the neighbor's space over there. So it's all relative. But this floor is, is basically as level. Okay? That spot over there in the corner, okay, that's a lower spot. And then along this wall is lower. But it's less than an inch and a half difference for all this area. That's just information. It's, it's not a clue or indicator or whatever. Uh, this closet right here, there's your door right there and that wasn't even framed in right okay we got another exit that goes out to the back over here come to the paneling and this door going back to the business end of the space this is all your this is all your showroom uh, this is all your dining area I understand this is going to be a restaurant this is your thermostat right here all right probably could do something a little better than that and all this door jam in here, this door casement, it's, it's, it's all rotting out, has rotted out. Probably because your air conditioner is on the other side of that wall. This is your air return. If it's not a roof leak, ah, well, take your pick. Is it the air conditioner or is it the roof? Something's been going on over here and it was allowed to go on for a while. But that, that, that doesn't happen overnight. Coming along the back hallway here, this is the refrigerant line for the condensing unit outside. In an earlier video, I mentioned that there was a condensing unit on the roof. Well, that probably doesn't apply. This uh, condensing unit out here, that condensing unit, which is too close and it's not level and it's dirty. We've got an open conduit and the dead front's missing inside that disconnect box. But that is, that's your condensing unit, and it's four tons. Four tons for this space. All right. Coming in here. I don't have a lot of light, so you have to forgive me on this. This is the office space. There's some more of that. Look at that, okay? Again, didn't happen overnight. Did that come from your air conditioning system? Your cooling system, did that? Did that come from that? Did it come from that roof? Did it come from, well, we're keep going. And see the water stains here? It's where the, it's where the floor is lower. I was mentioning that earlier. Just caught that. It could come from that. All right. These walls aren't exactly plumb. All right, so here we are in the office. Uh, this is a fabricated panel right here. It's the, somebody made that to fit. There's your air filter. Probably needs to be changed, I would think. All right. So here's your service disconnect switch. It's all loose and off. Okay, that's not right. You look inside of here, nice and rusty. Heat exchanger. I wouldn't trust that. I just wouldn't trust it. This is a Goodman or a Janitrol. Same company. All right, it says here that this unit was 1988. Now it's a commercial unit. It'd probably last a little longer. The engineer on paper would last 20 years. So let's just call it 20 years. At home it would be 14, but let's just call it 20 years. It still exceeded its economic life. This guy's time to replace. This is your primary drain line. You do not have a secondary. Primary drain line does not have a P-trap. It's not insulated. Where does it go? It keeps going. 
Man, how many ways does it go? Until it finally goes outside. That's quite a run. Okay. Probably wasn't like that originally because it comes out of the closet. See that? It comes out of the closet. So something's been modified here. Something's just not right. Then we go up in here, and that's what your evaporator coil looks like. It's all rusty. It's time to replace it. It's time to replace the unit outside. Okay. There's your flue. The one up in there. Uh, what can I see? I'm going to take some still images and see what I can capture. We'll see. All that tape, you don't think that leaks? You don't think that leaks at all? No secondary drain line. No safety switch. Okay. A little more roof repair. That's your office. Let's come into the kitchen here for a little bit. This is the kitchen. All right. Order up. Okay, all your plumbing over here. This all probably could be done a little better. All right. I mean, this is just copper pipes that'll all be ripped out and replaced. There's a P-trap from the sink over here. There's your floor drain. Okay. And here's your ventilator. All right. And uh, it's supposed to be some plumbing hooked up to this. Besides gas plumbing, there's your gas plumbing. No sediment traps on your gas plumbing. No sediment trap on the, we'll go back in the double work. I like to yank people around a little bit. All right, sorry about that. Here's the gas line coming into the furnace. It's all solid pipe. That valve over there, you should be, you should be able to take, turn that with a hand. This is the connector here. That connector is gray. Okay. When I say gray, it's, it's, it's gray sheathed. And um, you can see, no, oh, actually, no, it's not. That connector is total brass. That's a weak leak waiting to happen. You do not have a sediment trap. Sediment trap's not present. But that's, that, that is the most unsafe gas connector. The water heater has the second I'm most safe. There's a vent fan. I'm not sure where that goes to. Your prison cover is broken. Okay. Again, you know, smothered, covered, and fried, or whatever, spread. So there should be water. Water connected to this. These guys are supposed to spray it down. All right, that's probably why you need the um, swamp cooler. Look at all that crud in there. That register needs to be replaced. The swamp cooler, we already talked about that on the roof. All right, but we're just dealing with a lot of, when this thing kicks on, it starts vibrating. We're dealing with a lot of erosion, you know, a lot of corrosion here, a lot of filth. This might be able to be power washed, okay? Power washed and scrubbed, and you know, we're gonna spend some you're going to spend some dollars just getting this old dog up. There's no fan in it. Fan's missing. Okay. So, there we go. There's your gas connections to it. That's your splash back. Floating junction box. That should be secured a little better. Not supposed to hang out like that. All right. Again, some of this is dark, I get it. You got one GFCI. How about that, in case the fire pulled this? Oh, right here. When was this last serviced? 2007? Well, you probably want to bring that up to date. So this is your fire pressure suppression system for the um, kitchen. And 2007, and, you know, it's 15 years. I don't know, I'm not good on math. Coming along here, a little low spot right there. This is the door. This goes into the water heater closet. No, water heater closets aren't supposed to be used for um, storage. There it is. This is your grease trap. All right. Uh, more exposed plumbing. Now, is that going to hold me? I hope so. That would be a gross. Okay, this is your vent pipe. It goes up and out. Okay. This vent pipe is broken down there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's broken, so sewer gases are venting into the, you know, living space. We've got another vent pipe over here. What are we looking at? That guy's as open as can be. 
Sewer gas is just coming all out everywhere. Just smell some sewer. There's your vent pipe coming up through the roof. Your exhaust pipe. You're not supposed to have tape on these. This is all academic. I mean, the age of this guy is... They last about 10 years. And... 2012, or... I have to read it. It's Whirlpool. Or 2006. I'm thinking 2006. Uh, 50 gallons. That's enough to wash some dishes. Okay, uh, no uh, dielectric unions. The pipes are soldered too close. There's no insulation on them. You got corrosion on your valve. Uh, it's got electronic ignition. The burner cover is missing. You got the gray right there. That, that's the gray sheathed gas connector. That's the second least favorite of them all. Also a fire hazard. Also should have been replaced. Doesn't have a sediment trap. There's that handle I was talking about that you should have had over there on the furnace. It's a nice greasy one if you want to, you know, for quick action, quick draw. Okay. <laughs> Coming in here. This is your electric meter inside, which is good because people can't tamper with it. Got that nice little padlock on there. That's called a clue. This is probably some um, payment in arrears on the, on the um, I don't know that. But that's called a clue. I mean, you want to make sure that there aren't any payment in arrears. You might have to pay somebody else's bill to get a new shot at it. Okay, these old federal fed pack panels. Okay. In here, what do we got? Okay, the see the aluminum leads in there? Aluminum's okay on this. Okay, it's when you get the over here when aluminum's a problem. Uh, but there should be antioxidant paste on that. Okay. So this is telling us that we got a type A, it's 200 amps, um, four poles. Four poles, what, three phase? Three phase, four poles, 200 amps. Okay. The good thing about having three phase, oh, because it's a commercial, you kind of expect it. But your bills are a little more manageable that way. Let me go over here. More, okay. What are you going to do here? It's three phase again. That's fine. Reset. Reset. That's kind of scary. Alright. Another little three phase. With 30 amps. So you got sub panels. You got one, two. Two sub panels. And then I would make this a sub panel as well. We've got another one up there. I can't reach that. That guy, he's got some tamper-proof doohickeys on him, so we're not going to get into that race. This one down here, we can get into this guy. But there's no, it's a non-event. It's a non-event. There's nothing going on here. Okay. Now this panel, I don't even know the manufacturer. It looks like an old Wadsworth. It might be an antique square D. I'm trying to get some kind of clue. The manufacturer's specification label is missing, so it makes it instantly obsolete. They did a pretty good job of labeling it. Now you can't see this, but you can see that there. See that little plate right there? That covers a dead front. Well, when this is in place, there's there's several open dead fronts which you shouldn't have. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about here is these are L1, L2, and L3 coming in. And you see that copper wire, that nice beautiful copper wire coming in there? You see how they cut it all off because it wouldn't fit. Okay, so the amperage coming into this box is oversized. This box isn't designed to handle the amount of power that this uh, main is allowing into it. All right. Then we come on along, and good luck finding breakers. I mean, that's probably why they took the breakers out, and you have the open knockouts. Good luck finding them, and then they double lugged them. See that? Two wires on one connector. Two wires on one connector. That's that's a no bueno right there. It's a no bueno. Okay. You see it a lot, you know shade tree mechanics and stuff it has no place in anybody's home much less a commercial venture this is the woman's room always want to come in here you got one sink one commode same in the men's room okay there's no bolts no bolts holding it on that's not, not securely installed there you go you can wash your hands missing some ceiling tiles most all of them need to be replaced to be honest all right men's room this is men's room and women's room i'm on the roof i'm inside the house i don't know where these fans go to 
So you got these fart fans in these bathrooms, and who knows where they go to. All right? Hopefully they don't go to the dining area. That wouldn't be nice. Okay? Do you want me to come in here? Insufficient clearance in front of this commode. All right? So, maybe if you've got short legs. i got short legs. There's the floor drain. It's missing its... And it looks like that drain's backing up. Looks like that drain's backing up. And you're missing your grill, your grate. Strainer. Strainer grate. Okay. Well, I'd like to, uh, this is the pantry. Yeah. There you go. You can get some packets. So you can dress your plate up real nice. Some cutlery. This is that door we talked about from outside. I think I had a video of the outside. Maybe I didn't. Go ahead and do that. This guy, he's uh, no bueno. The closer is missing. These might be duplicates. Closer is missing. Spalling on the flat work. No handrail, so just watch your step. Condensing is not level. It's too close to the house. It's too old. It's R22. Got a list disconnect. I don't remember saying anything about that. There you go. Open condolet. And the dead front cover is missing inside of here. Again, he's 20 years old. Again, he's R22. Steps too high. There you go. Missing some more scaling tiles. Let's see if we get the reflection going across here real good. It's been rocking here. Open junction box. It's pretty simple. I mean, the place basically is four walls. It needs to be gutted. It's they got a level foundation. The roof covering leaves a lot to be desired. But it, and this is it. This is my statement. This sums up the entire inspection is it would be prudent to budget for a complete renovation.